वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज सम न्यूज स्टोरीज फ्रॉम इथियोपिया फॉर यू फर्स्टली व्यूअर्स एन अपडेट फॉर यू ऑन द टेली कम्युनिकेशन ब्लैकआउट इन टेगराय विच है लास्ट नाइट एनी इम्प्रूवमेंट सेकेंडली पी एम आर बी वॉज बैक टूडे विद हिज पब्लिक डिस्प्ले ऑफ ह्यूमिलिटी The Prime Minister and the First Lady Zinash were seen uh, renovating uh, houses of poor people somewhere in Addis Ababa, Ethiopian capital. And thirdly, viewers, uh, are there still splits within the Tigray People's Liberation Front? What is Alim Gebrevay doing? He opposed gatacho when gatacho contested for the slot of tagray interim president reportedly he has held some meetings in makale and split is continuing what did alim gebrevay say at the meetings and uh, gatacho seems to be in a difficult position uh, how to handle the challenge being posed by his critics in tplf uh, is becoming difficult for him i think firstly viewers uh, tagray where uh, we saw last night that uh, telecom services were suspended internet was down uh, call service was cut off to and uh, no official statement was issued last night there were a barrage of rumors about the reason behind this suspension but ethio telecom just a few minutes ago confirmed that uh, network has been restored uh, telecom services were suspended because of uh, damage to fiber optic cable uh, maintenance and repair work has been done so everything is back to normal in tagray so everything which was being said last night uh, was based on rumors it was a technical fault secondly viewers uh, pm rb is fond of uh, showing his humility on camera he is a humble man by the way i found him humble but he loves to uh publicize his humility whenever he is seen helping the people uh serving meals to them uh, renovating their houses camera never misses to capture Uh, pm rb's uh, acts of humility and uh, every year before the start of rainy season we see the prime minister and the first lady zinash they visit some slums some neighborhoods where poor people live and uh, they are with a tool in their hand they show that they are renovating the houses of the poor people and they give some cash as well to the people and they say it's symbolic that others should also join in other people who have uh, resources they should help the people uh, before rainy season before rainy, because rainy season could be a problem for those uh, who are not in a position to renovate their houses uh, their houses uh, could be seriously damaged uh, in case of heavy rains so it's a good initiative uh, but uh, it shouldn't be only for the sake of uh, publicity so uh, while i appreciate his uh, humility at the same time publicity of humility does not serve any purpose people know what leaders are uh, how uh, do they behave what are their feelings for poor people everyone knows i think no matter what you do uh, your real image cannot remain hidden if a man if a woman is humble no matter what she does this quality will become public 
uh, in his personal life, he's not known as a proud man, by the way. Uh, he is humble. But main problem is that uh, his uh, humility uh, on display gives this impression that he just uh, loves to sell his humility. If people start selling their characteristics, then uh, others start doubting their intentions. Yes, poor people should be helped before rainy season because it becomes a problem for poor people if heavy rains uh, damage the houses. Uh, secondly, viewers, lastly, Tegarae, where Gatacho is facing a challenge. He is Tegarae's interim president uh, and he narrowly uh, won this uh, slot. TPLF's central committee held a voting and there Gatacho won by one vote lead. Haftatsion was his uh, rival, backed by Alam Gabre Wahed. Some say Monjorino was backing him as well. De Bratsian too, don't know. Alam was backing him. Alam criticized Gatacho at that party election when Gatacho was elected as party's candidate for uh, Tegra interim uh, president. Uh, this rift between Gatachu and Alam Gabri Wahid is continuing. And Gatachu is allowing this faction in TPLF to work freely. So far, he hasn't launched any crackdown on dissidents within the TPLF. Those who are criticizing him are allowed to work freely. Alim Gabre Wahid has held some meetings in the past few days. At least one was held in Makale. And there, TPLF uh, officials from Waridas, from zones were invited. And uh, Alim Gabre Wahid criticized uh, Gatacho indirectly at the meeting. He said, uh, no transitional setup can decide the future of Tigray. Factually, he is correct. Obviously, transitional government cannot make big decisions. But uh, the transitional government will have to make big decisions. Why? Because uh, the future status of Rai and Volkayet will have to be decided by this transitional setup. Because election will be held after a uh, decision has been made regarding the future status of Raya and Volkayat. This transitional setup will have to make some big decisions. Uh, th that is why, uh, though Alim is uh, factually correct, but uh, since we don't know the duration of this uh, transitional setup, it means that uh, it might uh, continue its work for more than a year. Uh, the election board of Ethiopia announced a few days ago that next year, Ethiopian year, election will be held in Tigray, in other parts of Ethiopia where 2020 election could not be held. I mean, Gatacho has around uh, a year, less than a year in office. And this year is very critical because obviously peace deal will be implemented institutions will be formed, uh, political environment uh, for free, fair, transparent election in Tigray will be created by the Tigray interim government. All these are very key uh, developments going to happen in Tigray in coming days. So we cannot uh, say that uh, this transitional setup uh, is insignificant. No, it is very significant. It will make key decisions, especially about TPLF. Will Gatacho allow uh, equal playing field, level playing field to all the parties in Tigray? TPLF, Salsevoyene, Betona, Tigray Independence Party. Will election be fair? What about TPLF? Will TPLF be allowed to have? Uh, uh, influence in this interim setup. So, these are all key questions 
so we cannot say Gatacho's role is insignificant. But uh, Alim Gabriel Wahid faction is trying to portray Gatacho as insignificant, that he is just here for some time. So the party should uh, take the guidelines from party head, the Bratzian and others like Alim Gabriel Wahid. That shows that uh, this division within the Tagarai People Liberation Front is continuing. Gatacho is not accepted so far. And that is why it's difficult for him to take action. A theft in Tagarai has been confirmed. World Food Program, USAID, they have confirmed that aid was diverted in Tagarai. That is why. A delivery suspended, people suffering, some say people dying. Gatacho ordered an inquiry. So far, no names. Who was responsible? No one held accountable. Why? If there are big names behind this aid diversion, big names from TPLF, it would be very difficult for Gatacho to take action because he could face another revolt within the party. And LM group will try to exploit the situation to weaken uh, Getacho's government. So that is why hard times ahead for Getacho led Tegarai interim government. TPLF uh, is seeing internal divisions. But we cannot say that part is going to split, that there is going, there's going to be a new faction. No. Splits are within the party, no signs of breakup of the party. But overall, it will hurt Gatacho government's performance, I think. Thanks for watching.